that the that in Sitna there was a well, and there was water. It wasn't that he. It wasn't that he left Sitna with no water, or he left it barren. He left the well after fighting, after striving. He left it. It's easy to remove yourself from failed situations, from failures. But how many would remove themselves from perceived successes? Who walks away from successes? Who walks away from success? Isn't that what we all strive for? Isn't that what we're all desiring? Isn't that what they're advertising? How to be successful. Everybody is going to seminars and conferences and, and buying books on how to be successful. Everybody wants to be successful. And according to the text, Isaac was in Sitna successful. He worked hard. This, this is the kind of, Isaac at that point is the kind of man that we want we we pay tickets to see. We sit in auditoriums to watch. We want to see someone who's a perfect model of success. We want to hear success stories. That's what, that's what we envy. That's what we clamor for. And Isaac in verse 21 would seem to be that person. So then why is he removing himself from Sitna? You work hard and you accomplish something. Isn't that what we tout? That's what Isaac did. But yet with everything he worked through, to finally accomplish his goal. The Bible says he removed himself from Sitna. Why? Because Sitna represented enmity. I want you to write that down. And since this typifies the law, since this typifies uh, the dispensation under the law, then you must see that he was essentially saying you've got to remove yourself from a dispensation that would represent inward enmity. Look at this in Romans chapter number eight. Look at verse number seven. We talked about the, the, the law is spiritual, but I am carnal. We said that Sitna represents enmity. It represents strife. And we talked about how under the law, they were striving under the law, working so hard, working hard. Sacrifices, sacrifices. The law was works oriented. The law, I want you to write that down. The law was works oriented. And so it was sacri sacrifices after sacrifice and, and offering after offering and, and ceremony after ceremony and washings and bathings and washings. Effort, effort, effort. And nothing was enough because why? The cycle still continues. Still the law of sin was working all manner of concupiscence. Still sin taking occasion by the law. Still the same cycles with all of that effort. With all of that work, still they were falling short. Why? Because the law was spiritual. But Paul says, I'm carnal, sold, sold under sin. And look at Romans chapter 8, verse 7. What? Because the carnal mind, look at this, is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. He says that this, the result of carnality, I am carnal, sold under sin, so hence I had a carnal mind. And although I could hear the law, my carnal mind could not receive it. My carnal mind could not wrap itself around it. It was an 